Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Easy Now, and you guys are awesome. But if you're truly awesome, you'll hit that like button and get the video to 492.7 likes. In this video, I wanted to talk about the exotic swords and how you go about actually obtaining them in the Taken King. And this video does contain spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled, please feel free to click away right now. Anyone who's still around, let's get into it. So first up, let's look at the steps for all three swords. So this is a quest or a mission or a bounty or something that's going to be given to you by one of the vendors. Now, Lord Shax is very abundant during this whole quest line. So he's the person you're going to be going back as a force to. But how you start this quest isn't actually clear right now. But the first step is to gather rare materials and attune your light. This is the same for all three swords. So this sounds to me like you're going to have to go out and pick up relic iron nodes or helium filament nodes. Or maybe there's another type of rare material on the dreadnought or something. But basically the first step is to go and gather materials. Your second step is to go back and speak to Lord Shax. And once you've spoken to him, your third step is to wait for delivery of Arms Day materials. So Arms Day falls every single Wednesday and you'll have to go to the gunsmith to get whatever you need to continue this quest. Step four is take up arms, speak to Lord Shack again. That will lead you to step five, sealing the blade. And you need to defeat Adleg, Warden of Oryx, and then Alak Hull, the Dark Blade, within 30 seconds to seal your soul edge. So those are both located on the Dreadnought, and I'm assuming that this is going to be the strike where Dark Blade appears. And maybe you have to kill Adleg, the sub boss, and Dark Blade the actual boss within 30 seconds of each other and whichever sword you're using it will seal that sword who knows though step six is to go back and speak to lord shax and your reward is the sword so let's have a look at those swords in general so first up we're gonna have a look at the void version of the sword called the dark drinker now over on the left where you see the picture the attack stats and the tempered light that is the same on all three swords so let's have a look at the main perks you have sword strike obviously that's the same on all and you can infuse weapons in it which is the same on all three as well but this one is a void forged guard used to guard effective against arc and solar attacks and less effective against void attacks the perks that you can choose from are scabbard or die by the sword which is increased sword ammo capacity or kills with the sword replenish grenade energy and then you can choose between scabbard and warrior of light increases sword ammo capacity or increased damage for your attack and the main perk for this weapon is super massive vortex used to unleash a spiral of void energy in all directions so that is going to be a area of effect attack where it will attack all around you the arc version the bolt caster has pretty much the same perks except it's arc forged used to guard effective against solar and void attacks and less effective against arc attacks you have a choice between scabbard and live by the sword which is increased sword ammo capacity or kills with the sword have a chance to grant orbs and a choice between scabbard and warrior of light increases sword ammo capacity or increase your damage for your attack and the main perk is Sword of Fonda, used to shoot a beam of arc light from your sword, create a lingering electrical storm, which just sounds absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see what that actually does. And last but not least, we have the solar version, the Rays Lighter. We've already seen footage of this on the actual live stream with Laced Up Lauren. And it's solar forged, used to guard, effective against arc and void attacks, less effective against solar attacks. You got a choice between Scabbard and Warrior of Light, which is increased sword ammo capacity or increased damage for your attack. And a choice between Scabbard again and Thrive by the Sword, which is increased sword ammo capacity or kills with this sword grant super energy. And the main perk of this is Phoenix Uppercut used to launch into a solar light uppercut. So this is going to be the damage one where you just attack people and smack them in the face. The bolt one seems to be a ranged attack and the void one seems to be just an area of effect to be able to defend yourself against multiple enemies all three swords sound amazing they look amazing i cannot wait to get my hands on them let me know which one you're excited for most in the comments below guys hit the like button if you wish to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video yeah